Hello, hello! My name is Ignacy Trzewiczek and I invite you to the another episode of Portal Games Vlog. Emptied up my soul, you've heard it all before, honest but I know, uh -huh. Left these years ago, I was young and I'm old, still care for the void. Oh. There has been a situation again. Zingas here keeps trolling me. So it's another statement from me and from the whole team at Portal Games. In 2010, I designed a game called 51st State. It got great feedback. Great reviews, a ton of hours, it was amazing. Next year, I designed expansion to this game called The New Era. Amazing reviews, hours, a great thing. It was a masterpiece. Next year, I designed another expansion called Winter. Great reviews. Then I designed an expansion called Ruins, which I don't own at this very moment. Then I designed new, special, amazing, mind-blowing edition called 51st Day Master Set and Masterpiece. Then we released a, another expansion for this game. And then... I think the new expansion really is fantastic. It's one of the, it's one of the best expansions I've ever seen for... Like, it's just a deck of cards. Mm -hmm. And what it added, what it opened up, the way it managed to mix this all up was unbelievable. I think. I'm Jan Nakianka, and in 2019 I designed the Alliance. Lies for tomorrow. Never see the end of the night for sorrow. What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love when everything's said and done? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? So we are making fun of um, uh, Z. Uh, you, you saw the sketch, but the, the, this is very interesting thing. What happened last last week? So fifty fifty first day, uh, uh, always had amazing feedback, uh, very good reviews. It is a niche game because of the theme, because of the Neuroshima Award. Mm, but it was always having amazing, amazing feedback. Mm, Z chose the game for the best game of all time, which blows my mind. Thank you. But yes, uh, this amazing, great uh, game. Mm, uh, and uh, what I want to discuss today is the fact that uh, this game is almost impossible to buy in America uh, because of what happens at distribution. So what happened at distribution is that this game uh, released in uh, 2016 mm, is old in terms of the American industry, in terms of the American distribution mm, and some of the distributors already removed this game from the database for them it is not a new item, not hot uh, new game and they look at the calendar of the game from 2016 removed from database, we are not going to sell it anymore mm, and this is a huge problem in my opinion for us, we are selling this uh, on our website, we are selling it through the, some of the retailers, we are selling it through the board game week, so we are doing ourselves, we are happy. But uh, the state of the industry, uh, the state of the, of the distribution in America, that we have a game that is chosen the best game of all time, according to one of the biggest influencers in the industry, the game that won so many hours and has so many feedback, and the game that is supported by the publisher. So we, each year we release a new expansion for the game since the release. Mm, and such a game is impossible to buy to the retailers, to the distributors, because in their perception this game is old, nobody cares, delayed. Mm, very interesting moment in the, in the industry. Uh, I was saying uh, about this uh, since one or two years already. Something is, doing, something is going wrong in America. There is a sickness, the, the cold of the new, the urge to just be interested in just a new game, the urge to just get the new sell sheets, the new items, new products, and don't care what happened six months ago or not 12 months ago or three years ago, and don't appreciate the good design, don't appreciate amazing designs, just looking for the something new. Is it good? I don't know, it's new. I want it. 
uh, is a sickness, it, it, it's dangerous. Mm, so here it is a very interesting moment in the in, in the year. The game chosen the best game of all time. You cannot buy it in most of the retailers in America. I think it's wrong. What do we do to love? 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 When everything is said and done. So we are at the replacement parts room at Portal Games offices. We have two such rooms for a Polish market and for um, Europe, and we have a separate warehouse with replacement parts in America in our warehouse in America. So as you can see, there's a ton of things uh, in this room. Every single game has uh, additional pieces that we can send out to the customers if they lost a piece, if the dog eat a piece, if something is missing in the box, we are shipping, shipping, shipping. And uh, I'm talking about this uh, to give some perspective about what uh, Asmodee announced uh, last week. And they said that they are no longer sending shipping replacement parts to the customers. If the customer lost a piece or has missing a piece, he has to contact the store where, where he bought the, the game and the store will give him a brand new copy. And of course the whole industry is debating and discussing a very important, very interesting article on the Jamie Stegmaier website. He said very openly, as always, that the whole replacement parts uh, part of the company cost him uh, $43,000 a year. This is a ton of money. And for us, uh, I will not give a number, but I will just t tell that in a year we ship out uh, about 600, maybe a bit more, um, uh, packages to you, to our funds, because somebody is missing uh, a part and we ship and we ship worldwide. So if there is somebody from Singapore, if there is somebody from Brazil, if there is somebody from Florida, if there is somebody from Berlin, we ship out worldwide, and this is a huge operation. This is I have uh, two people in the customer service, a full time job, just uh, answering your questions about missing parts. So these two people working full time. I have these uh, warehouses where I keep all these products. I have uh, additional print runs of additional parts to send out to you. So for you, for the gamers, it might not be the perspective like this is something important, this is something big. Actually for the companies, is a big part of the running business, just shipping out to the customers all the things that you need, that you ask for. And hence, uh, Asmodee deciding to shake things and save some uh, money and I guess discourage you to contact if you know that they will not ship you anything, that you have to go to the web store, to the, to the store that you have to give out a copy and uh, hopefully get a new one uh, sometime later. So mm, we will see what will happen. Mm, the message from this vlog is to show you this is a huge cost in every single uh, company in our industry to ship out all these uh, little pieces, little meeples. I'm missing one meeple. Someone had to read this email, someone had to reply to this email, someone has to get this meeple, pack it into envelope, so these ones again work hours and ship so this is the cost of the shipping and of course the cost of the meeple. So every single time we are contacting the publisher, there's many people involved and there is a lot of cost involved. Uh, as Jamie said, for Stegmaier Games, $43,000 a year just to ship out these you know, small meeple. So this is a little bit of insight into industry about the replacement parts. Thank you. Out in the unknown, story took its toll, thought I would have grown uh -huh. the beaten track to become a better man Sinking in the center We don't need the past in our lives for tomorrow Never see the end of the night with sorrow What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? What do we do to love? What do we do to love? When everything's said and done What do we do to love? So we have also achievement deck and when you do something epic in the game uh, you get uh, the card that says for example you are as revolutionary uh, as Isaac Newton or uh, eccentric like Copernicus so whenever you do something epic uh, you uh, get this uh, token of appreciation yes you are as good as one of the coolest guys in the history mm -hmm. I 
I've never really been the one who's worried Always been the one who's keeping it cool And uh, it happened we sent out the press release with the detailed information about the season one we announced the expansion the standalone expansion at Essen but now we can fin finally show what's inside the box three cases one of these cases not all causes was for some time uh, our promotional case so we were presenting it for free for you some people already played it and like it now it is not no longer available as a free case now it will be a part of the season one by the way those of you who finished natural causes and we know this because we have Anthra's website will get some very interesting promotional thing but we'll talk about this later so but if you managed to finish natural causes when it was a free we have a good news for you anyway back to the topic natural causes takes place in the university there is a professor of the biology and he's killed apparently for sure he's dead and you will go to the university and you will have to uh, dig some secrets and talk with different professors and uh, college students and uh, discover what happened at the university. So this is one of the cases, not all ca causes. Then the second cases uh, takes all the players to the Great Britain. You will be visiting uh, all the mansion and you will be discovering some family secrets. And if you watch the movie Nights Out, is it the movie? Yes, Nights Out. Nights Out. Uh, nice out. Um, you know the theme. The old mansion, all the family members, secrets, uh, accusations. Uh, absolutely, I love. I adore this. Uh, in this case, uh, a little bit of Mrs. Marple uh, theme, theme as well. So, this is one thing in Great Britain, in the old mansion. And then the third one takes you to the Italian mafia uh, setting. So, you will have uh, mafiosos and uh, fight for the like are a control uh, in the city so they are fighting for their power they're fighting for for the control over the city over the districts of the city and there is a uh, dead bad and you will have to discover who killed him and you're in the middle of the war uh, so very different uh, once again setting so three very unique very different uh, cases for you to play with your friends to present them detective to tell them hey i have this amazing case if you like the nice out this like that will be in the old mansion Mm, uh, great time mm, uh, so it's basically almost ready uh, we, we, we are going to release it at Gen Con pre-release it at Gen Con and then the distribution uh, later so very excited fun time thank you the kind of guy you chill while others hurry I didn't know that I've been the fool I've been telling lies about something real But I know love is based on honesty Kept thinking how real love should feel Knowing that it's not just you, it's me My secret confession I have never played Ignacy's Robinson Crusoe uh, I mean, I playtested play it a lot. Uh, I demoed it, it a lot during conventions, uh, but uh, as a player, never more than four, maybe five rounds. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's my secret confession. And uh, also, I have one game I know I will never even try, and that is uh, first motions. Uh, again, I playtested it. I uh, made the graphic design, so uh, I think I got it spoiled. I know what's there, uh, what's uh, some cool stuff that are hidden uh, in there, in it. And so uh, there's no need to play it again because yeah, I know what's gonna happen. <laughs>